Hello everyone. I want to welcome everyone to a brand new school year. As you can see, things are a little bit different this year. First of all, you can see that I'm wearing my ICS mask. And as soon as students come in in the morning, they're going to have their temperature taken, either from this door or the door that you come in from the uh, buses. So let's take a look at some of the new changes that we're making in our school this year. Since no one is here, I'm going to be taking my mask off. But ordinarily, I will be wearing my mask when there are students and teachers and parents around. Please notice the blue tape on the floors. The tape is situated six feet apart, so when you walk down the hall, our students and teachers will be six feet apart, following these blue tape markings. For students who are in the grades one through eight and that have been here since kindergarten, you may find this a kindergarten room a little bit differently than what you remember. The tables are gone. We now have desks in here. We have these protective barriers between the different rows. But it's still going to be kindergarten with Miss Mishka like it always has been. But it just has a different look this year. Miss Mishka, say hi. Hello. Thank you. Our art room has a whole new look this year. You'll notice there are no tables. Again, we have student desks. And I promise you, by next week, we will have chairs in here as well for our students. Hi, everyone. Mrs. Bonanno is uh, busily preparing for a brand new school year. We're now in the first grade room, and just notice how far apart the desks are. Practicing our social distancing. Here we are in the eighth grade room. This year it's going to be very special for the eighth grade because we have two eighth grade homerooms. One of them is going to be Mr. Gian, and the other homeroom teacher is Mrs. Abrams. We are all going to be working very closely to make sure that the eighth grade is a very special year for everyone. We are planning an eighth grade retreat uh, for sometime in September. On the very first day of school, a prayer service is going to be held um, in the church with just the eighth graders. The eighth graders will be leading the prayer service for the rest of the school. I know that um, Mrs. Gerard and Mrs. Heisner are working on uh, doing things for the student council that we're really going to uh, be focusing on the eighth grade for this year. So uh, it's going to be a little bit different, obviously, but in a lot of ways it's going to be uh, you know the same. So we're really the three of us and Father Bob and Mrs. York are going to do our very best to make this a very special year for the class of 2021. Um, the big thing that everybody asks about are the puddings, and I'm going today to uh, uh, start the process of getting the uh, order in for our school. So you should be getting information the very first day of school. Mr. Gian, would you like to say yep. anything for us? Yeah, I, I can't wait to see you guys again. It's been uh, six long months since I've had you all in my classroom. I can't wait to see you guys again for social studies and English. We have so much more stuff we need to learn this year. And I'm hoping that we're going to have an interesting, fun, different year for many reasons other than just one. Ms. Abrams, would you like to say something to our new eighth graders? Sure. Well, I want to echo Mr. Gian's statements, and I'm really happy uh, to be your eighth grade homeroom teacher number two. And uh, I'm going to learn a lot from Mr. Gian, and I'm sure you guys are going to help me out a lot to be uh, a homeroom teacher. We have a lot of exciting things to do this year, and um, you know I didn't get to meet all of you last year from the seventh grade. I only had a few of you, so this time around I think I get to meet the whole class. So I'm excited to meet you and welcome. Okay, we just wanted to show you the other eighth grade classroom. Some of you have been in here before. This is uh, was the math room last year. It'll be the math room again this year, and alongside of that will be uh, the homeroom for the other students of 8th grade. 
Can't wait to see you. You can tell by the uh, background with the smart board that I'm in the technology lab, but the rest of the room looks pretty different. We took the tables out and the computers and we replaced them with tables, or desks rather, and we are going to be using Chromebooks. And the Chromebooks are back there in the, uh, in the cabinets waiting for everyone to, uh, to start using them. Also, since our filming yesterday, Mrs. McKay set up all the Chromebooks here in the computer lab on the desks, and we do have procedures uh, similar to East Aurora School District where we have a solution so that we can sanitize the Chromebooks in between each class. We taped our video yesterday, but today our desk shields arrived. So grades four, seven, and eight will have these, one because there are larger classes, will have these wonderful desk partitions. So we assembled a couple just so that you could see them uh, in our reopening video today. You can see the cafeteria also has a brand new look. You no longer have the round tables, we have the rectangular tables, and unfortunately, there's only two chairs to a table. And we must practice social distancing all over, including the cafeteria. You'll notice we've got a few uniforms on one of the tables. Just a reminder that when you come for drop-off supply day next Tuesday and Wednesday, there's going to be a lot of uniforms that you are more than welcome to uh, take. They're free. We've got tons. So they will be arranged and on the tables and just help yourself to anything that you may need. One thing that hasn't changed in our school this year is our school office. As you can see, we have Mrs. Harmon back with us for another year. And we have many of our dedicated teachers back with us who are planning for a wonderful school year. So I'm hoping to see all of you either next Tuesday or Wednesday at our supply drop-off day or for sure next Thursday on our very first day of school. So we're looking forward to a very good new year.